Hello and welcome back to Eagle Hive and in this video we'll be focusing on how to link the Primavera P6 EPPM to the Primavera Professional. So having said this I'll just navigate to the folder where I have my documents installed. So for my case I'll just go to software then Oracle. So having done this I'll go to this part where I have the P6 Professional setup. I'll just double click it and then the pop-up window for the installation will pop up. So I want to install that maybe typical for the advanced I can check everything so that's why we have advanced. So I just want the typical which is this. I'll go to next and then I'll just hit on install. So just give it a few seconds or a few minutes and the installation will be done. So after the installation is done, is done, just click on OK. So we want to run the database configuration. So I want to link to the Microsoft SQL server. So this is what we already have. And the connecting string is via. So if you click here, it's going to show. So in the reduce and increase uh, uh, symbols, we have the host. So the host is administrator. Then backslash, we have the database name. So the database name is Primavera one and then I won't check this because I honestly don't know what this is exactly and I don't have any keystone so I can I can just test the configuration right now first to see so it's saying that the public username or password is not the same so that's okay so what I'll do I'll just go to first I can delete this or I can create a new one and then we can start so we have the Microsoft SQL and this one is Primavera, maybe P6, like so. And the testing and the connection is administrator. So this is the name of the PC. And then we have backslash, like so. And then we have the name of the database which we are connecting to. So for my case, I'm connecting to Primavera database, like so. And then I can go to next. So this is where I put the username. So the username is admin. Admin. And the password is welcome one. Like so. So go to test first. So they're saying that the public username or password is not correct. So this we should put for the public actually. So if you remember, so it was pub user. So this is for the public user three and the password is still the same. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste this. If you can't remember this, I'll just show you a simple trick. Just go to where we have our desktop so I can open in a new window and then just launch this, this configuration and here we have it. So this is what we are using, okay? So just minimize, go back here and test. So the connection is successful, click on OK. So maybe I can rename this name later on and I'll hit on save, so OK. So having done this, this one I'll just do away with it, delete, OK, so I'm just having one and then I'll click on next. And then, yeah, so the test is already successful. I just hit on console and then I can now launch my Primavera so we are having our Primavera, so this one, P6 Professional, so just launch it, so this one's I can minimize them. So now we have our login name, so it can be admin with welcome one, like so, and I have just to make sure that the database is this one, and then connect, and just give it a few seconds or a few minutes because it's the first time that it's running. So we have not yet selected the industry. So oil and gas, manufacturing, so on and so forth. So hit on okay. And just like that, now we have a Primavera running and now it's integrated to the database for Primavera EPPM and the user is admin and the database, everything we have it here. So that is the beauty of this and yeah. 
Thank you.